have on there. So, um, a second ago, all the sound was tore up and muffled and beat up and sound all crappy. And I'm pretty sure it's going to do the same thing again. So let me go ahead and do this. I'm calling this my black history moment. I truly believe throughout black history, black people have made some great triumphs to further pro the progression of all mankind. Throughout the history of the planet, black people have tried to further mankind, I guess, through the things they've done throughout history. Never heard of too many black warmongers. We haven't heard too many black super criminals, any black, you know, just evil black people. There have been some. And, you know, hey, in life there is good and evil. And through our history, we've made lots of mistakes in judgment. We tend to help people when they don't give a damn about us. We tend to go out our way to live an image. We tend to live beyond our means. Uh, a lot of us are uneducated because we can't teach everyone the same. Not everyone thinks the same. You know, everybody does their own thing. So, these guys are talking about the lady being attacked in Cairo. I'm not going to say the names, but, you know, we live in a tough and dangerous world, dangerous, dangerous world. A planet is filled full of, uh, pitfalls, you know, it's like, uh, in our society here in America, uh, we may have some technology, we can do this and we can do that, and our stores are not completely empty, not yet, and, you know, it's like, we still have some sense of security here in this country. I truly believe what we see around the world is a precursor to things that are happening around the world some wish would happen here. I truly believe our system can be fixed so we don't have to sit in the streets to do it. There are some things that we can do without having to go to the streets to do things. And in saying that, I'm going to leave the future where the future is and go back into the past. Now, in history, throughout our history in America, we've always strived for equality, equal rights. And to be honest with you, this happened a long time ago when people were slaves. They wanted to be equal. All we wanted to be equal to is those in which that had their hands up. We only want to be equal to those we see manipulating us. We only wanted to be equal. Same rights as every other white person. I truly believe as an African American as an American of African descent, as someone whose beginnings was a hell of a lot darker than this. Damn! That shit don't even look human. So look, what I'm trying to get to is this. The biggest mistake black people ever made in history is to ask for equal rights. The same rights that white people have. If we had looked behind the curtain, we could have seen that these people themselves were under hand, or under foot. These people in which we ask for equal rights, 
never really had any rights either. You must understand when they came from England, they weren't the cream of the crop citizens. You see what I'm saying? They were not the upper crust, the blue blood. Most of the white Americans here in the country were not of the higher stature back in England. They were second class citizens in England. So when they brought them here, what were they here? They were second class citizens here in America. And they are still second class citizens to the rich power elite. Just like way back in the 1600s. They are no different than what they were in the streets of London. You see what I'm saying? So with the new life chance to better themselves they come to America from all over I guess or what have you they weren't you know the people they weren't the Queen's people they weren't of royal blood they built their own royalty here on the backs of others with the opportunity from the motherland England the bankers to be first class citizens and in the big scheme of things when we ask for freedom and equality they gave it to us the mistake that was made by our people was they should have asked for sovereignty they should have been able to be their own people but instead we took the assimilation I'll take behind what's behind door number two. That was a mistake. I see white people treated it shitty. Excuse my language. Poorly. Every day. And when I look closely, they're being treated poorly by their own people. And when I hear them speak, I hear them speak of another people as the root of their problem, the causes for them not to have what they should have, which rightfully theirs, what they worked so hard to build. I bring you this. I tell you the truth. From a perspective, these people are not treated any better than us. They're actually getting treated worse than us. So, what is a black history moment? I'm not talking about white people. Well, I come to one deduction. Instead of worrying about woes me exploiting my big old pot. What I'm going through. You need to show some people the mirror. Don't point the mirror at yourself and tell everybody about the pity that's happened to you. You point out what's happened to somebody else and they will stop focusing on what's happened to you or what has been done to you. Once they start focusing on their own problems, they will leave you and yours alone. Because if they see you as the problem and not knowing the true crux of what the whole picture may be, and you will always be blamed for them not having you. You will always try to have the exact same things they have. Which in this world, at this time in life, is nothing. I know as many poor white people as I do black people. Period. And it's ridiculous. And why is this? these people with such great promise architects of our new day and age why do they stand outside with signs saying they'll work for food I ain't worried about the other race of people doing a job that they won't even do why are they worried about a black man having a new car why are they worried about a Mexican having a new car? 
these people who can't see race are the greatest victims and as long as they can't see it's their problem then you will always be their problem it's like any great plan you have to have a fall down these people these black people these mexicans and all these people stealing from you. That is the problem. These people do. I don't own a factory. If I did, I'd hire as many good working people as I can take. Blacks, whites, Mexicans, whatever. Back in the day, the group of people took care of themselves. They'd only give themselves jobs. They'd only do for themselves. And now another group of people apparently are doing the same thing. That people see. And now it's a problem. Maybe the problem is this. Instead of worrying about what my problems are, those same people who gave me my burden should worry about their burden. The origin of their sorrow. That is my black history moment. For others, non-black, to look at their problems. And stop blaming us, me, and my people. And I want to remind you one more thing about my people. My people are white. My people are Asian. My people are Hispanic, Mexican, Latino, Filipino. My people earn less than twenty thousand a year. Earn less than forty thousand a year. Earn less than fifty thousand. 60, 70, 80,000 a year. I'm down here with the bottom dwellers that are not racist towards one another, but hate each other for what was placed in front of them. Barriers and lines and limits set by someone else, but in their name. Look at your own problems, sir, before you can tell me what's wrong with me. I did not stop you from having your life. Your actions stop you from being who you are and my actions prevent me from being all that I am. And in the future, for any race of people who want equality, you must ask for the right measurement. Don't make me equal to the bottom run of the ladder when I still have to sit back and watch people eat at the top of the totem pole. Life is not for those to play with. So we live in a game where people play with other people's lives, other people's ethnicity, other people's culture, other people's state of mind. In order to truly be free, you gotta free yourself. You can't worry about a group of people bothering you or picking on you or hurting you. And I'm tired of Gay rights, black rights, Jewish rights, all these different rights. How come we just can't be individual and basic human law? Don't hurt me and I won't hurt you. We don't need a right for that. What if I was black, gay, and handicapped? You know, and Jewish. You know, do I, do I get more in the end? There is no more. The pie cannot be sliced any more than it is. If we can't make equality by treating each, each other equally, then there'll be, never be equality. And that is the crux of my black history moment. In order for us all to be free, we need to learn how to set ourselves free, set the people in the next cage free, so on and so forth. We can live in a world where our technology takes care of us, Instead of us taking care of technology, forcing the technology to enslave us so a group of people can live and we can still hate each other. If you don't understand me, then you're one of those people who think I should shut up. And I'm going to give you that. But the seed is already planted. You can see it popping up all around the world. We ain't got to do that here. We don't, we don't need that. You've been too. Oh. Yeah.